Hello traders, Nick Shaheen here looking at CCIV, um, another EV, you know it, I'm not going to speak about its fundamentals, um, I've been on record before that I'm not my favorite, I don't hate it, it's just not my favorite, um, I will comment only on the chart because I think I have some good information for you, I did a video yesterday, go check it out on Hylion, and the Hylion fans liked it, so I must have worded it properly. I will try to use the same terminology here. Uh, so, it's literally, this is a daily chart, what everybody, most everybody looks at. Um, ignoring this madness, let's just focus on this part here. You can visually, if you draw a box, split it in the middle, right? That orange line, I didn't draw. That's literally the busiest place. So, uh, everybody knows volume bars down here. These are the volume bars that tell me, instead of when they happened, they tell me at what level they happened. It's called volume profile. If you want to study, if you want to learn a new, quote, study on charts, that is the most probably underutilized one, simplest to understand, and most effective. Because when they say price is truth, that's where truth is. That's actual price. No projections, nothing. It's actual price, where they happen. So, on the way up, it's tough to go through it. They went through it and now they're using it as footing. Um, meanwhile, they're making progress, higher lows. Um, they still have a lot of resistances and they're tackling them one at a time. This was one, they took it over and then they gave it back. That's fine. Now the machines should catch it and swing it back up to make better progress and tackle this one just like they're tackling this one. And then they will tackle that one. This is a big one. <laughs> These are not going to be easy. So there should be a lot of sellers lurking up here. The point is, you don't want to take too too much, too many steps backwards. If you lose this, very disappointing. Not the end of the world, but very very disappointing. That was these two candles did them a lot of favors, and they took them pretty quickly. But to give them back and come back to 19 or say under 20, that's a big setback. Now it still has the double bottom ish, fine. But why lose the trend when you made so much headway? Now the only problem comes from outside of its own um, action, which is the whole market. All right, so we've had correction, one big red day. It's not even big red or day. Anyway, this is a weekly chart on the S&P. Um, this is a monthly chart on the S&P. Should the markets have a little tizzy, even just to come back to the extreme levels. This is mega extreme levels. Come back to the extreme levels. Or God help us if they come back to the mean. Just reverting to the mean. We've gone so far that a mere reversion to the mean is a 25% correction. Just reverting to the mean. The bulls will still be in charge. In fact, we are so high. If the markets fall 40%, the bulls will still be in charge. They will, quote, buy the dip. They did it here, they did it here. But look how far up we are. Why do I mention this? Every stock has to trade inside that prism. Whoop, CCIV. Monthly chart means nothing to it. There we go. This is back to the daily chart. So, moral of the story is keep the momentum going, bulls, so you don't have setbacks. And if you do have a setback, make sure you hold this, 22.2. And if you lose this, make sure you hold above 20. Get, get, losing all of these candles would be uh, uh, very deflating. Like, why? What's the point? It's still not the end of the world because you still have the double bottom. So you get the point? I just repeated it twice. Good progress. Don't take a few steps. Don't pay, take too many steps backwards. And the selling could come from outside factors. Regardless of how, what I think of this stock, if I'm a super fan, then I have to consider. So here's here's the way I said it today to my own followers. If if my conviction is super high, like today I deployed a couple of trades that are conviction are super high in itself, but I knock it down a notch or two from uh, strong conviction to medium to medium at best because I don't know what the outside factors are going to do to it. So if I'm catching the falling left, say in Baba, super cheap, way oversold but it can still go further if the market's correct. It's not gonna rally by itself. All right, so trade the charts. As far as triggers up, I did this for Highland yesterday. This was a trigger up. They didn't fill it, but it's not all lost. So they're still, uh, so if you go above here, they kind of confirmed this one and this itself would be a trigger for 40. 
however with a lot a lot of selling into 32 so i anticipate that if you they, they take this one out and they get to here they will do something like this again that would would, would work well with the ascending so that was oil all day that's what we do oh if you don't subscribe to the channel do so it's free won't be free forever but it's free for now and um, they're going to repeat the process here so if they do take this out let's say they do this they come back and they take it out they'll try to test it for footing and technically it's some sort of a cup and handle inverse head and shoulders it depends where you draw the line for the neckline uh, the target should be could be anywhere up here but there's going to be a lot of fighting here and here and here so slog but progress is important so whatever you do don't lose that progress and if you do lose it don't lose too much of it and if you lose this then that that was a lot of work these two candles preserve these two candles right there those two green ones all right next signing out oh yeah and don't forget to set the alarm to tell you when i post stuff the bell whatever they call it one of these days i'll learn how to pull it up on the video so you can click on it but i'm an idiot at that